Hello and welcome to the video solution of the exercise problem silicon wafer. In this problem we're going to calculate the resistance of a macroscopic three-dimensional bar of silicon and compare its resistance with that of an identical bar made out of copper. The geometry of the problem is sketched in this picture here. So we are considering a bar of width 1 cm, length 10 centimeters and a height of 0 0.5 millimeters. We are assuming that the bar is an isotropic homogeneous conductor and that we are in the regime of diffusive classical transport or Jude transport. In that case, the resistance of the bar is given by a simple formula, namely the resistance is equal to the product of the resistivity of the material, rho, times a geometric factor. This geometric factor is given if the resistance is measured along the length of the bar by the ratio of the same length and the cross-sectional area of the bar. The cross-sectional area of the bar is just given by the product of the height h and the width w. Therefore, the final formula for the resistance of this bar as measured along the length of the bar is given by this expression over here. Plugging in the numbers and using the fact that the resistivity of silicon is 10 ohm centimeters, we arrive to the solution, namely the resistance is given by 2 kilo ohm. Now, if we repeat the same calculation for a bar of copper of the same dimensions, we arrive at a different solution, namely the resistance of such a copper bar is 340 microohm. This number is many orders of magnitude smaller than the resistance of the silicon bar. This is because copper has a resistivity which is only 1.7 times 10 to the minus 6 ohm centimeters. This is because copper is a metal, not a semiconductor, and conducts very well. Therefore, the resistance of the same bar will be much, much smaller. 